वेलकम टू डीजी नाउ इन दिस मॉड्यूल विल डिस्कस अबाउट रिसेंट नीट एस एस रिकॉल्स दैट इज नीट एस एस रिकॉल्स फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव और फिफ्टी एट ईयर ओल्ड मेल प्रेजेंट विथ थ्री मंथ हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंटरमीडियंट राइट अपर अपर डिस्कम्फर्ट एसोरेटेड आफ्टर फाइटिंग मीन्स द लेबोरेटरी फाइंडिंग शो माइंडली एलिवेटेड अल्कलाइन फॉस्पेटिस लेवल दैट इज वन फिफ्टी यूनिट पर लीटर एट जी जी टी ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी यूनिट पर लीटर and abdominal ultrasound reveals hypoechoic lesion measuring 3 cm situated between the left and middle hepatic vein superior to the portal vein bifurcation the surgical team is considering a segmental resection based on kurinat's classification which liver segment is most likely involved what are the options segment 4 segment 3 segment 2 and segment 1 so these are the options given so let us look at the Information which has been provided, there is a hypoechoic lesion measuring three centimeter situated between the left and middle hepatic vein. The lesion is situated between the left and middle hepatic vein, and it is superior to the portal vein bifurcation. The the right answer here is segment four. So the segment which is being referred in this question is segment four. Segment four of Kurnan classification is located in the left medial lobe of the liver, bounded by left and Middle hepatic vein superiorly and portal vein bifurcation inferiorly. So the segment four is in between left and middle hepatic veins and it is above the portal vein bifurcation. Hypoechoic lesions position between these veins and above the portal vein bifurcation align with segment four as we just described and this can be site of focal lesions such as adenomas and metastases. The clinical presentation suggested in the question. Suggest the possibility of either benign or malignant hepatic lesion, and this will necessitate precise localization for surgical resection. Let us discuss about the segmental anatomy of the liver. You can easily remember the segmental anatomy of the liver by fist of the right hand. Okay, the fist of the right hand can help you to remember the segmental anatomy of the liver. You can see so the space in between the fingers. Will tell you the location of the hepatic veins. Okay, that's the right hepatic vein. That is the location of middle hepatic vein, and that is the location of left hepatic vein. And then you have knuckles, which divide it into upper and lower part. Okay, that is the segment three. This is segment four B. This is the segment five, segment six, segment seven, segment eight, segment four A, and segment two. Okay, easy to remember. Segment two, segment three, and segment four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how. You remember various segments of liver based on the Kurnan's classification, and that is the segment one, that is quadrant two. So if you look at this picture carefully, the recollect the question. The question mentions that the lesion is in between the middle hepatic vein and the left hepatic vein. Okay, you can appreciate here the lesion is in between the middle hepatic vein and the left hepatic vein. That is the segment four. Okay, and then. You can appreciate that the segment four is above the portal vein bifurcation. Okay, it is above the portal vein bifurcation. So let us revise again. What is segment one? Quadrant lobe. The key landmarks in relation to quadrant lobe is inferior vena cava and portal vein. The clinical relevance of segment one, that is quadrant lobe, is the lesions are very rare in quadrant lobe and the resection of quadrant lobe is very complex. Segment two, it is left lateral and superior. The key landmarks are Left hepatic vein and falciform ligament, and the segment two is adjacent to segment three. You can appreciate here segment two is next to. You can appreciate here the segment three is next to segment two. Segment three left lateral inferior. The key landmarks are left hepatic vein and round ligament. It is below segment two. You can appreciate here segment three lies below segment two. Segment four, as we just described, it is left medial. The key limb. The key landmarks are it is between left and middle hepatic vein and above the portal vein bifurcation. The lesions are common in in segment four of the liver. Thus, the option segment three is incorrect as segment three is in left lateral inferior portion below the left hepatic vein and near the round ligament and not in between the left and middle hepatic veins. Segment two, the option is again incorrect as the segment two is left lateral superior adjacent to left hepatic vein and is not positioned between the left and Middle hepatic vein. Segment one. This option was incorrect because segment one, that is quadrant two, is posterior. 
near to the IVC and it is not typically located between the hepatic vein or it is not generally superior to the portal vein bifurcation.